the premiere of the Halo series actually set records, and 343 is looking to break the silence with some information about feedback about Season 1 and what they're going to be changing for Season 2. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video about Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps with the video and channel and get a better place within the all-famous YouTube algorithm. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with Halo, just make sure you subscribe, but let's get right into the information here. So a report from Deadline talks about how well the Halo show did for, especially for Paramount+. Plus. As it definitely has had its own sh fair share of controversy going into this show, and some people liked it, some people really liked it, some people hated it. Uh, I say for the most part, from what I've seen from the community at large, that episode one went over pretty well for most people. If you want to know my thoughts and opinions on the first episode, I highly suggest you check out a previous video that I uploaded on the channel here, guys, kind of talking about a spoiler free experience about how the Halo TV show was for the first episode. Overall, it's a great episode. But here we actually get some actual statistics, roughly at least for the Halo TV show. What I mean roughly is that we don't get direct statistics, but we get the rough idea. If you check out this article right here, it talks about saying that the Halo TV show set new records for the service most watched series premiere globally in the first 24 hours of release, topping the previous mark established by Yellowstone and the prequel 1883 back in December. So this is the most popular show that's ever been released on Paramount Plus, which obviously it's like, very like niche kind of like record set right here but it's very good to see that like hey for paramount like we have the most we, this is our most popular tv show right now and then people i know love yellowstone and apparently 1883 is a prequel which obviously people like that as well uh i've never watched yellowstone but to see that halo beat out that show it really gives me better confidence that people are, are very interested in the show, which is super cool. They do stay here that we don't have any specific numbers that were presented for the uh, numbers when it comes to the premiere of Halo of Halo's show. Though they do state here that the 1883 series debut on Paramount Plus drew 4.9 million viewers in the beginning of the show. And they do state that we will get a sense of the scope of Halo's viewership when the Nielsen streaming rankings for this week come out. They also state that Paramount Plus original has yet to crack the top 10, meaning the most top 10 most watched shows on, well, television and streaming as, as a whole. Uh, so this is very important to see like if Halo can actually break the top 10 most popular shows out there, that would be, well, pretty freaking awesome for Halo. This probably leads into like why the series was already approved for a second season even before the first episode even released because they knew that they might have actually had a hit on their hands and knowing that this is the most popular show to be released on Paramount Plus. Like it beats Picard, which I obviously, I, I know a lot of people were hyped for that show. It beats out you know, Yellowstone in 1883, which I know a lot of people love Yellowstone. My entire family watches Yellowstone except for me basically. And they're always like, oh, Kevin, you gotta watch Yellowstone, but I'm like, but Halo. So does this mean I can like turn it around and be like, well, actually the most popular show ever on Paramount Plus where you're watching Yellowstone on just released and it's Halo. Yeah, that's right, it's Halo. Now this is a developing story as we haven't gotten the hard statistics yet when it comes to the Halo show, but once we get those numbers and see, does it crack the top 10 most popular shows out there right now? Well, I'll definitely let you guys know on this channel once we get some information about it. Next, we have some news and information about the news and information we're going to get from 343 as they're finally gonna like, break their silence about like what they learned about season one, which is they've had plenty of time to take in a lot of feedback and information. Our friend, great friend, Patman Gaming here, which we have some projects in the works with Patman guys on the channel here. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely let you guys know when it does go live, obviously. Uh, but saying like not expecting anything substantial from today's blog for Halo Infinite. But boy, I would love to be proved wrong. And well, he was proved wrong because well, there was no news today. But Brian Gerard, obviously the community director, at 343 said this saying, hey Pat, no blog today I'm afraid, but we should have some initial season one feedback outcome information to share next week. So guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel guys to so make sure when that news and information does go live, 
you know, I'll be sharing it with you guys here on the channel. There's a lot of things. I mean, a lot of things. 343 could definitely take a lot of feedback on when it comes to season one. Obviously, the battle pass, the event passes, the ranking system, customization, monetization, like playlists. Then you got different kind of game modes you can have in the game as well. Like custom games, theater, like there's a lot to be taken into consideration here. So uh, even the sandbox itself, like weapon buffs and nerfs and things like that as well. Uh, there's a lot of things. So there's gonna be a lot of information at least I'm expecting from this one. Now they said this can be kind of like the initial kind of uh, information about season one. So this is gonna be a pretty substantial blog and they probably will actually detail what they plan to do at least when it comes to season two. Like I'm fully expecting like not only just new content to be coming with season two, but also like, like a sandbox update to see like, you know, buff and nerf to certain weapons. Like hopefully the Ravager gets a nice little buff. The Plasma Pistol they mentioned previously about having better tracking on human targets so hopefully that happens as well for season two hopefully they address the mangler and things like that there's gonna be quite a lot of information i'm expecting about the season one blog for next friday which again guys as soon as that blog goes live i will have a video up on this channel on that friday let me know in the comments what do you want to see 343 address the most when it comes to this blog update for me personally i really hope they address desync which is kind of more like lag compensation but general term it's been referred to as desync uh, just because obviously that's the core aspects of the game is like shooting players. And if that doesn't feel good, then you have some issues on your hand for sure. I'm also expecting to see other kinds of things that they've already mentioned that they're going to be fixing within season two, but have it more put into an official uh, situation, like in a blog, like they mentioned about having be able to earn in-game credits now through the battle pass, it sounds like, for season two, which is fantastic. It should have been there season one, but at least we're getting it with season two. It's a pretty fast turnaround, honestly. Um, I'm also seeing like what they're gonna do with customization. Uh, Tashi even mentioned that they're looking to expand with season two uh, the kits for the HDS bundles and stuff like that. See that you can kind of do more customization, allow more freedom, as they mentioned. So there's gonna be a lot of things I think, that they can definitely do with season two, and uh, I'm definitely excited for it to see what kind of quality of life improvements we'll see coming with it. Like obviously we know that we have the two maps and a few new modes coming in, which is nice, but nothing really that's like substantial that would really I feel like bring a lot of people back into the game, but if they've improved like stability of the game, so it crashes less, improve the desync issue and other kind of, you know, tons of other issues. Like I, you know, it'd be a 20 minute long video just going into that alone. But if the blog, it basically just ends up being like, yeah, we heard you and we're working on it kind of blog, like kind of like how like that uh, ranking system blog was like, yeah, there might be some pushback. I do hope they address any kind of changes they're looking to do for the ranking system with season two as well, because I feel like right now it's pretty grindy and it not that rewarding when you feel like you should be rewarded. Obviously it's all based on who you play and how you play kind of stuff, but I feel like if you just win, you should feel like you're, I'm guaranteed to get this level of satisfaction. And right now it's like, oh, I gained one CSR or something like that. Like that's not that enjoyable of an experience, especially when you crash out of a game, you lose 15 CSR right away. So there's just a lot of issues with the comes to the ranking system. I hope that gets addressed as well. As well as a top of a lot of other things, I feel like I'm ranting at this point I feel like I just need to let you guys go, but that's what's going on right now with Halo. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this place right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. We've been talking a lot about the Halo TV show recently as it's been pretty awesome and we've released a couple of videos about it. So I highly suggest you go check out those videos as well. But until then, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.